Hello and welcome everyone. So uh, it's been a long time. How have you been? It's been a long time. How have you been? So we will be starting a new series UFO gameplay with system practical examples and specifically in this series we will be covering the application as well as looking some practical example by creating the abilities of the character Gideon from Paragon. Okay so just to give an overview what we will be covering in this series is like I have two characters over here and I can shoot projectiles with my left mouse button. Okay and I can then cast this meteor ability on the other character which damages him and then we have this um, teleport ability to teleport the player and we also had this uh, ability which slows down the character for a certain amount of time and once the ability is removed he can move freely and we also had his um, ultimate ability that applies damage over time and we're not going to be focusing too much on the visuals or the cosmetic aspect of this since that can easily be done inside of the blueprints and rather we're going to be focusing on how to implement all of these abilities and focus on replication portion of the gameplay ability system okay so there are going to be a few prerequisites for working on this series first of all we need a few set of softwares we need the unreal engine and for this series i'll be using 4.27.2 and we'll also need a C++ compiler to compile our gameplay system code because the boilerplate or the base code of the gameplay system is being done in C++ so I'll be using Visual Studio 2022 as it is compatible with 4.27 and also I want to point out that I'm not going to be covering how to use UE4 and I also want to mention that this is not meant for artists or someone who has just begun using UE4 you must have intermediate knowledge of blueprint programming because uh, I'll be linking my C++ code with my blueprints. You don't need to know C++, but uh, it's good to know that you should have some general programming knowledge, specifically of blueprints. Okay, so what you can expect from this series is that we'll be creating some abilities from the character Paragon of Gideon, and we'll implement some base C++ classes for use in our gameplay ability system. You don't need to know C++, you can simply just copy and paste this code. Don't be afraid of using C++ and this is the reason that I recommended that this series is not for artists or someone who has just begun using UE4, okay. And we'll construct some C++ function and then expose those functionality towards Blueprint. So this is going to be Blueprint friendly. Once you have done your C++ functions, you can just go over to the Blueprints and do all of your stuff over there because base plate or the boilerplate of this gameplay system is to be done in C++ okay and we'll also see a basic example of replication with gameplay ability system by basic I mean like this is not going to be covering the network prediction or anti-cheat server client relationships and that kind of stuff so this is going to be a basic bare minimum implementation of replication with gameplay ability system okay and just to give an overview how gameplay system works is that you have a character, character one source and a character two that is the target. Okay. Both of these characters have these ability system components and also an attribute set. Okay. Ability system component is responsible for managing the abilities and character abilities, activation and that sort of stuff. Okay. And attribute set is like a collection of attributes. For example, health is an attribute, mana can be an attribute your experience or the amount of gold you have those things are counted as attributes okay and character one can cast an ability by using the ability system component and gameplay ability is for example you can think like jumping is an ability or shooting is an ability casting a fire spell that kind of stuff these are all abilities okay anything that you can think of as an ability is an ability and gameplay queue is like the visual of that ability for example if you're casting a fire spell the fire projectile or the hand that is on fire that kind of stuff can be a gameplay queue or you're damaging a character and he's on fire like burning so that kind of fire effects particles are gameplay cues okay and once the gameplay ability is activated you might want to change the attribute of the other character that is the target well that is done through this gameplay effect 
uh, game play factory does like a data container that says okay i have applied an ability i want you to subtract like 10 health from this target and this acts upon the attribute set through the gameplay system component okay so like this is the basic overview of how gameplay system works inside of qe4 so let's get started with the blank project and see how this goes <laughs> 